For example, they want 9 to the power of 2x, and you have to change it to base 3. So instead of having a base of 9, they're saying we want a 3 there. How can we change a 9 into a 3? What's that? You could divide by 3, but we're dealing with exponents. Close. 3 squared is the same as 9, right? So we've changed the base to 3. Just by rewriting it. Okay, but 9 was to the power of 2x. So we have 3 squared to the power of 2x. And we just have to simplify now. Okay, 3 to the power of 2 times 2x is 3 to the power of 4x. On the next one, they're telling us to change the base of 125 to base 5. So we have to think about 5 to the power of what will give me 125. Well, 5 times 5 is 25, times another 5 is 125. So we've cubed that to get 125. 5 cubed is equal to 125. Okay, and 125 was to the power of 2 minus x. So now we have 5 cubed to the power of 2 minus x. And again, don't forget, power to a power, we have to multiply these exponents. So we get 5 to the power of 3 times 2 is 6. And then we also have 3 times negative x, so we get minus 3x. So 5 to the power of 6 minus 3x. Next question, we have 8 times 16 to the power of x. We need to change that to base 2. So 2 to the power of what is going to get me 8? 3. Very good. Okay, 2 to the power of 3 gave me 8. 2 to the power of what gives me 16? 4. 4. Good. Okay, but just remember 16 had an exponent x on it. So we have to distribute that. We have 2 to the power of 3 times 2 to the power of 4x. And if we have the same base, what do we do with those exponents? We add them. So 2 to the power of 3 plus 4x. You guys will have to help me out a little bit. Okay, we have to change the next one to base 2, and we need to get to 512. So if you want, you can just test it out. Go 2 to the power of 5, 2 to the power of 6, 2 to the power of 7, 2 to the power of 8, and Bernie got it right away. 2 to the power of 9 gives you 512. So 2 to the power of 9 replaces the 512, and don't forget that's to the power of 3x. So the result is 1 over 2 to the power of 27x. 9 times 3x is 27x. Okay, any questions? Hmm, next one, the basis of fraction. So in this case, what we have to do is just look at the numerator and denominator and try to make the same base as the numerator and denominator. So if we need a base of 2 in the numerator, we also want a base 2 in this numerator. So 2 to the power of what gives me 16? 4. four. So we have 2 to the power of 4. And then 3 to the power of what gives me 81? 4. Good. So can I not say it's actually like 2 over 3 to the power of 4? Good. And then all of that was to the power of x plus 5. So my final answer is 2 over 3 to the power of 4x <coughs> plus 20. Okay, you got to multiply through. Not fun stuff. We get to take these scales and solve some equations. Okay, so they're telling us the volume of a beach ball is 50,965 centimeters cubed. 
and we have to figure out what the radius of the ball is to the nearest tenth of a centimeter given the volume of the sphere formula right here. Okay, so just to help you out, Sarah and Lee did a little bit of the work. They took the formula for your volume of a sphere, which is 4 thirds times pi r cubed, and they started to rearrange for the r. Okay, first, instead of the volume, they plugged in the actual volume, 50,965, and that equals the volume for, uh, equation. Then they took this 3, and they decided they didn't want that in the denominator, so they're going to multiply by it, so it cancels out. Whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other. And that's what we have in this step here. We're again trying to isolate the r cubed, so next they decided Let's get rid of the 4 pi. Whatever you do to one side, though, you do to the other. And lastly, they ended up with this equation right here. Have they solved for r yet? No. We still have this cube that we've got to deal with. So Sarah and Lee, they chose two different methods for isolating the r. Sarah decided, well, we have r cubed. What's the opposite of cubing something? Cube root. So that's what Sarah did. She took the cube root of both sides and isolated the R. So could you guys please... Pardon? <laughs> so please plug this in for me. Uh, make sure you're careful. Use brackets. What is the radius to the nearest tenth of a centimeter? What did you get, Joe? Okay, and, and what were the decimals after that? Nine. Nine, 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 nine. So if you're around to the nearest tenth? 23. 23.0, good. If you didn't get that, can you just let me know? I can maybe troubleshoot with your calculator. What you're putting in. You all got it? Okay, next one. Lee decided to use his exponents. Okay, so we would raise his uh, formula or his equation to a certain power to isolate the R. So, if we have, I'm just going to do a little side work. If we have R to the power of 3, Actually, let's just look at the number 3. If I want to get rid of the 3, what would I have to do? Pardon? Uh, maybe I'll do it a different way. If I have 3x equals 1, how do I get rid of the 3? Divide by 3. Okay, so we get x is 1 over 3. So the same thing applies with a cube. If I want to get rid of that cube, remember the power of a power? I would be multiplying by one third, and what would happen to those threes? They'd cancel out and you'd just be left with r. Okay, so we're going to multiply r cubed to the power of one over three. And then the same on the other side, we're going to apply the exponent one third to the right hand side. calculate this, do we also get 23.0? Just verify it. Yay? Good stuff. <laughs> so the radius is 23.0 centimeters. Did anyone not get that? Um, I just want to point out here, would you guys agree that um, r to the power of one third is equivalent to the cube root of r? Okay, so you can see that least strategy multiplying to the power of one over three, it's the exact same as taking the cube root. 
So understanding this law can be helpful when you're solving equations. Now another student asked, does it matter which way you use? If this was a word problem on one of your tests, you could choose either or. But some strategies might be more useful than others, depending on the question. Okay, so we just have two more examples here, where we're going to be looking at multiplying by the reciprocal power, same way Lee did, to solve an equation. Okay, so if we have x to the power of negative 4 thirds is equal to 81, our goal is we want to solve for x. So what we have to do is get rid of that exponent. And to get rid of that exponent, we're going to raise it to the reciprocal power. Okay, so if we raise it to negative 3 over 4, what's going to happen when we multiply those? They cancel out. Okay, whatever you do to one side, you also have to apply to the other side. So we have to raise 81 to negative 3 over 4. Okay, so the big idea is we want to get x by itself. So by raising it to the reciprocal exponent, we're cancelling out that exponent. So now x will equal 81 to the power of negative 3 quarters. Let's get rid of that negative. So we're going to move everything to the denominator. And now the exponent's positive. What's another way that I could write 81 to the power of 3 quarters? Good, you could take the fourth root of 81 to the power of 3. So if we calculate that, the fourth root of 81 is 3, and then 3 cubed, 27. We've already dealt with the question similar to that. Okay. Anytime you're trying to solve for a variable where it has an exponent, just take the reciprocal exponent and it cancels out. Okay. Same thing, just now we have a binomial. We have 3x minus 5 to the power of 3 over 2. If we raise it to the power of 2 over 3, what's going to happen to the exponent? See ya. But whatever we do to one side, we have to do to the other. So we have to raise 27 to the power of 2 thirds as well. So on the left side, the exponent's gone though. And we get 3x minus 5 equals 27 to the power of 2 thirds. It's another way we could write 27 to the power of 2 thirds. Okay, the, the denominator on the exponent is always your index. So that's going to be the cube root. And then the numerator on the exponent is your exponent. So 3x minus 5 equals to, what's the cube root of 27? 3. 3. 3 squared is? 9. 9. Good job. Now we can solve for x. So add 5 over, and then divide by 3. x equals 14 over 3.